In today's video, I'm going over my top seven reasons why I use Microsoft 365 as a practice management system. Yes, I said practice management system. I didn't say case management system. Microsoft 365 gives us so much bang for our buck. We don't just have to use it for our cases. We can use it for our entire practice. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top seven reasons why. Let's dive into things today. Thanks for sticking around. We're gonna go ahead and start with number seven and work our way up to number one. So my seventh reason for using Microsoft 365 is all about integrations. I've got integrations for a signature program. I've got integrations for a timekeeping and billing platform. Those integrations help me thrive in my business. My day-to-day -day operations are streamlined because everything that I use integrates with Microsoft 365. And what does that mean? It means that I don't have to leave the environment if I don't want to. And that is a great segue to my sixth reason why I love using Microsoft 365. And that is the ability to automate day-to-day -day processes. So there are a lot of day-to-day -day processes that we do as legal industry professionals, regardless if we're attorneys, if we're paralegals, if we're legal secretaries, there are day-to-day -day processes that we have to go through that aren't making our firm money. They are not counting as billable time for any of us legal professionals. They're not making our firm or us money, but we still have to do them in order to move things forward in our case or to move things forward in our practice. Now with Microsoft 365, you have the wonderful application called Power Automate. Power Automate used to be known as Flow. Microsoft changed the name of it when it went from Office 365 to Microsoft 365. But Power Automate, for lack of terminology here, is a very powerful tool. It allows you to automate processes, those day-to-day -day processes. I encourage you to go into your Power Automate application. Just click that waffle in the top left, Go to Power Automate and take a look at search. Right there in the middle of your screen, there will be the ability to search and you can take a look at all of the Power Automate connections that are right there available to you. You have a lot of Microsoft developers and people who are working with Microsoft to create these automations in Power Automate and they have opened those up to people like you who have a Microsoft 365 license. So definitely go in there, take a look at what it offers and start automating some of those day-to-day -day processes. Okay, now on to number five. My fifth reason for loving Microsoft 365 for practice management is the ability to baby step into it. Yes, I am not required to use Microsoft 365 or any of its applications in one particular way. In fact, there is a slew of ways that you can use Microsoft 365 and the applications in them. It's kind of a rabbit hole, if you will. But the ability to baby step into it and use what you want when you want it and scale your business and your environment as you grow as a law firm and as a legal professional is incredibly awesome. Most legal case management systems out there just throw everything at you, allow you to use, you know, whatever it is that you want to use, but you still have to look at it. It still is part of the whole environment. And so people choose not to use that part of it and they use not to use, you know, certain parts of case management systems, but you're still paying for it. With Microsoft 365, Yes, you're still paying for it, but there are a lot of other applications that you're still using in there anyway. You're probably still using Word and Excel and Outlook and OneNote and probably even OneDrive. And Teams. Teams is a big one for a lot of people. So you don't have to be intimidated by this big system because you have the ability to baby step into it and only use the applications that are relevant to you. Only use the applications that make sense to you and that work for you and your team. And so my number four reason, and it's kind of my number fifth reason too, is the fact that I'm not required to use it in any one particular way. And because I am not required to use Microsoft 365 in one particular way, it means 
that I can customize the user experience. That's huge to be able to guide and customize the user experience. So let me explain that. In order to enter a contact into your system that is a global contact, you go into the Microsoft Admin Center, go to Users, click Contacts, click Add Contacts, and that's a whole lot of clicks. Um, even if you went into the Exchange Admin Center, you go into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you show all Admin Centers, and then you click Exchange Admin Center, and then it's just a whole lot of clicks. Let's minimize those clicks by creating a call to action button or just a regular button or just a quick link. There's no one way of doing it. All of those things you can put on the homepage of a SharePoint site or on the homepage of a communication site or on any page that is relative to a, a team site, a SharePoint site, a communication site and guide the experience directly to adding the contact. No clicking the waffle up in the top left, no going to the admin center, no clicking users, no clicking add contact. By one click, you can guide the user directly to where they need to be and reduce the amount of clicks that it takes to get the user there. And as a byproduct of that, we are creating efficiency in our day-to-day -day processes. We're streamlining the process that it takes to get to the end point to create the contact. And so that's what I mean. There's no one way of using it. Your ability to guide the user experience is what is incredibly unique to Microsoft 365. And it's one of the biggest reasons why I'm using it. And it's why it's up there in my you know, top results here. Okay, so the number three reason for using Microsoft 365 is that it's secure. Microsoft is a name that we all know and trust. It's been around for years and years and years, and it is most certainly not going anywhere. I'm not worried about losing my data. And there are so many fail safes that are set up in the Microsoft 365 environment to keep you from doing that. My data is secure. I'm secure in using that data. When I log in, I have a two-factor authentication process, or I go through my authenticator application that is loaded onto my phone. But either way, I'm creating this secure connection to my data so I can work with my team and my cases and really do it from anywhere. So my number two reason for using Microsoft 365 for practice management is the fact that it gives me the biggest bang for my buck. It does. It gives you the biggest bang for your buck. So let's go beyond the scope of the normal applications that you're used to seeing, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and let's look at Microsoft Sway. So Microsoft Sway is incredible for your marketing needs. If you are creating a blog, if you are creating a newsletter, if you are doing any of those things and not using Microsoft Sway, I greatly encourage you to get in there and start using it. Now you don't even have to really start in Microsoft Sway. Perhaps you have a piece of content that is written already. You can go into Microsoft Sway and start from your document. There's a button right there to start from your document. It will upload that document to Sway and you can manipulate what it gives you. Now it's going to give you a presentation and you can choose to use that or you can switch it up a little bit or you can create another one altogether. Microsoft Forms is another one. And now Microsoft Forms can be used internally and externally. And when it's used externally, you can actually combine it with OneDrive and you can request files. So picture this, if you will, creating a Microsoft Form, putting it onto your website and inviting the intake process that way. And not only are they giving you all the information, perhaps you need to request some records. So you can attach a OneDrive link to that that allows you to safely request those records and have them safely transmitted um, into your environment in an encrypted, HIPAA compliant way. Microsoft Forms has really become invaluable to me and my business because not only can you ask questions, 
just about the intake process. You can go beyond that and ask questions about how they found you. Did you find me on Google or Bing or Yahoo? Did you come across my YouTube um, episode? How did they find you? And when you're gathering information like that and you're thinking about those questions really in the long term and what it is that you need to gather from them, then it helps you drive your marketing. It could even help you drive your SEO. What keywords are you going to be targeting so that you are landing more clients, so you are gaining more intakes? So using Microsoft Forms has given me that ability. It's shown me where my audience comes from so I know where to put my money when it comes to marketing. By using Microsoft 365, not only for case management, but for practice management, I'm really getting the biggest bang for my buck with using that Microsoft 365 subscription. But really, $14 a month, I have all of my applications that I need to prepare letters or to prepare, you know, a damages summary, a specials breakdown with using Excel or a presentation by using PowerPoint, but I can also create collaborative cohesive environments in SharePoint and in Teams. I can drive productivity by using Microsoft Planner. I could use, you know, the OneDrive combined with Microsoft Forms to enhance the intake process. I could use OneNote to, you know, be my legal digital pad to serve my entire organization. There's so much bang for your buck that you're getting with Microsoft 365. And I just don't think that people really dive into that and take a look at the applications beyond what they're just familiar with. So my number one reason for loving Microsoft 365 and using it for practice management is the fact that it is mobile. That is huge. It is mobile. It's mobile across the board. I've got Microsoft 365 on my desktop. I've got it on my laptop. I've got it on my iPad. I've got it on my iPhone. And that means that I can work on my cases and with my people no matter what device I'm on and no matter where I'm at. And for some of these applications, I not only have online capabilities to gain access to them, I also have offline abilities to gain access to my data. OneNote is one of them. You can get to your OneNote data even if you're not online. That's wildly huge, especially when you're billing by the hour. So I'm sure you've seen that cartoon of the attorney in the courtroom and the judge on the bench and the judge telling the attorney counsel, what is your answer? And the attorney is underneath the desk going, let me text my paralegal. I was that paralegal, okay? And you might be that paralegal too. And because I was that paralegal, it made me a slave to my desk and to my phone. And if somebody wasn't there, to answer that text or to answer that email or to answer that telephone call to tell the attorney where that something was, then that something just wasn't known. And that is unacceptable to me. It's why I dove into Microsoft 365 headfirst for four and a half years to innovate and develop a system that didn't make me a slave to my desk and to my phone. It is secure, it is mobile, it gives me so much bang for my buck. It allows me to create the user experience, all of these things. For all of these reasons, Microsoft 365 is the number one in my book when it comes to practice management. If you would like to learn more about Microsoft 365 and how it can enhance your practice, how it can help your team, and how it can help drive productivity and efficiency, then I want you to head over to aeroconsultants.solutions and take a look at the host of products and services that we provide over there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to click that bell notification so you receive a notification of each time I post a video on here. Thank you so much for watching me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the weekend ahead of you. And I will see you guys back here on the next one. Mwah. Bye for now.